On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, can anyone beat CyberPower's crazy prices? We'll find out when we compare them to several different system integrators. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's, Let's go, go, nerds! <laughs> I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we like to aid the learning process. Yes, yes, we help you find pre-built gaming PCs so you can get your gaming fix. But also along the way, I'm hoping that you'll secretly learn stuff about computers, because honestly, learning is kind of awesome and it can lead to stuff like this. Like a long time ago, I started learning about computers and now I get to talk about them for a living. So, you know, not so bad. So I do try to sneak in some knowledge here and there. I don't just tell you what you should get, but also why you should get it, why it's better. Differentiating between G CPU, GPU, RAM, what RAM is best for this and what storage is what kind of storage and all of those things. And in the spirit of learning, it makes me very happy to say that this episode is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for the creative and curious. With categories like animation, film and video, graphic design, web development, UI design, photography, and much more. Plus, they're always launching new premium classes, most of which are under 60 minutes with short lessons that can fit even the busiest schedule. Now, one class I thoroughly enjoyed was YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. Yes, MKBHD. Marquez is a titan in the tech YouTube world and the YouTube world in general. And he did something here that he has never done. He broke down his entire video production process from start to finish. It really inspired me and, and actually got me to take a look at the nature of my own content and how I go about making it. And uh, I, I followed his advice and downloaded Google Keep for note taking for my own video production process. So it actually affected the way that I make my own stuff. So here's the best part. If you want to check out that class or any of the multitudinous classes on Skillshare, well, the first thousand viewers to click the link in the description, we'll get a one month free trial to Skillshare. So get down there, click that link and get started today. So what we're doing this time is, uh, well, I couldn't help but notice on the last stream, which yes, by the way, I do stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at twitch.tv slash Brayathorn around 8 p.m. Central. So many people wanted to get a PC from CyberPower. At least that's how it ended up working out, because as I was looking through what was out there for the first couple of people, CyberPower just had the best price and they still do. What we were looking at was generally 12th gen Intel systems, which is kind of the direction that I tend to guide people right now. Uh, you can go with AMD Ryzen if you want to, but um, other than the 5800X3D coming out, um, there's not going to be much of an upgrade path after that. So, you know, we got socket AM5 coming out, uh, Zen 4, uh, late this year. So that's going to be a whole new platform. So I've been kind of guiding people towards 12th gen Intel. And generally with DDR4, because DDR5 is super expensive, uh, not much better than DDR4 in gaming benchmarks, and um, just really hard to get if you want to upgrade, like impossible to get right now, ridiculously hard to get. So we go with DDR4 and it performs awesome. And uh, that's what we've been going towards. And Cyber, Cyber Power PC just has the best price right now. But before I get to that, a couple of quick disclaimers. This video was actually filmed a few days earlier than normal because I have to go to a team excluded uh, event. So I'm not gonna be there for the weekend to record the night before the day of the release of the video. But it is being recorded for January 16th, 2022. Uh, any prices and availability that you see here will likely have changed by the time you take a look at them, but not drastically. Availability might be an issue, but generally with CyberPower PC and some of the other system integrators we're looking at, you should be okay. However, if it, what you decide on is not there, you can always come to the stream and I'll help you out there. No problem. It's free of charge. Don't need donations, bits, subs, or anything like that. I just do it because it's fun. So. The other disclaimer is that I'm going to use some opinions. I'm going to use them profusely. I'm going to opinion here and there and opinions are going to happen. Uh, but those opinions have a lot of thought behind them. I promise you, I think about this stuff endlessly. It's kind of a problem. Anyway, let's take a look at a couple of 
examples of what I'm talking about. So let's just whoop, whoop, there we go. So this one right here is uh, CyberPower PCs. Uh, this is what I, what I, how I built out a 12600KF system. Now, yes, there is the 12400F and uh, the 12100, uh, both available, but the prices aren't very different between those. And I don't see any H670 motherboards on here, so going with a non-K SKU is kind of pointless. <laughs> People, everybody wanted the 4000D, the Corsair 4000D case. I know it's a beautiful case. I know it is performant. I know it gets great airflow and it's uh, fantastic to build in, meaning it's gonna be fantastic to modify later on. But everybody wanted this case and CyberPower has a lot of good cases, including the O11 Air Mini, which is awesome. But there's a ton of them, O11 Dynamic, XL, Fantex Eclipse, P400A, P500A, P600S, lots of great high airflow cases. Everybody just wanted the 4000D airflow, but you know what? That's what you want, that's what you want, and I am not here to judge you um, out loud. Uh, went with that, it only comes with like two fans from the factory, so threw in six Fantex uh, RGB fans. This one has the 12600K. And uh, there you go. As you can see, it is exactly the same price as the 12400F. There is no reason, literally no reason to get the 12400F because it's $50 off on the 12600KF and that pricing, the way they have it, just means that it's equal price. You can spend $30 more and get the 12600K non-F SKU. That means it has integrated graphics in the processor. And then for any uh, Intel 12th gen K SKU processor, you get a free upgrade to a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. That is the most appropriate upgrade I have ever seen. Now we went with the 3060 Ti because it's awesome. And it's also right now a free upgrade from the 3060 which is extra double awesome with sprinkles on top. Now that might go away because it says today only, but guess what? Uh, it said today only yesterday too, and probably the day before that. So if this deal goes away though, the price will go up by about 130 bucks and sort of equalize this with some of the other deals. And then moving down for this one here, it's 750 watts, $39 off. There we go, we'll change that. Now we went with the Gigabyte Z690 UDAX DDR4. This one has a decent number of USB ports. It has Wi-Fi 6 included. It's a good board and it actually has some VRM cooling. Uh, we did not go DDR5, but you can do so right here if you want to. Okay, let's say you want to stream. If you wanted to stream, 60, this right, just ignore that that says eight. This comes with, generally, when you click on it on the website, it comes with 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 uh, mega transfers per second or megahertz as it shows right there. And if you wanted to upgrade to 32 gigs, say DDR4 3600, going from the one that it comes with, that would cost you, as you can see right here, $220. You're also spending the money on this RAM, but you lose it. They take it out and put in the other RAM. So what is the total amount you're paying? Well, let's go to this eight gig here to help us find out. It takes $50 off. So you're losing whatever this is worth right here, which is about $50 because guess what? This is one stick out of these two. So two of these sticks, they're charging you $100 for 16 gigs of DDR4-3200. That is ridiculous already. But then it's $270 from that eight gig stick to go up to 32 gigs. Yeah, $320. You wanna see what the price on that RAM should be? Something closer to this. This is $160 for G-Skill Ripjaws 5 Series 32 gigs, 2X16. It's not four eight gig sticks. DR4 3600 and it's CL16, not cast latency 18. Cast latency 16, meaning the timings, the latency is lower, timings are tighter. This is much better memory and half the price, because 160 times two is, survey says, 320. So, don't upgrade your RAM on CyberPower. Buy it from here. Buy it on Amazon. You can get it on Prime and get it quicker than you can get the computer. Leave that at the eight gigs. Take out that stick when it arrives, because it won't match the two sticks that you're going to buy from Amazon. Now, uh, looking here, I set this one to the Western Digital Blue SN570 right here. It's a winter mega sale. Okay, and uh, you know, you don't need a mechanical hard drive or an SSD, but if you want to get more storage because you know you're gonna just install all of your game library, you can buy storage separately and install it yourself. It is one of the easiest upgrades you can do, and I believe in you. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click right here where it says, ultra enhanced packaging solution where they will actually pack it well for $19 more. So this is a great price, $17.23, but they're not done. 
because you can get 5% off of that. There's a coupon code. I'll give it to you later on at the end of the video. All right. How about that? Now, this is the other system. This is going to this is going to be more on the strictly gaming side with this one right here with the 12600 KF, okay, and the 3060 Ti. The other one is going to be more along the side of like content creation. If you want to do video editing, Photoshop, things like that. Because the 12700K is a beast for those things. It's absolutely monstrous. So this one, yes, price is 2581. Upgrade for the processor, 12700KF and an upgrade to a 3080. Um, we have the same case, same cooler. Why did I go, and by the way, same fans, same everything else. Why did I go though with a 12700K and not a KF if I was just earlier talking about, oh, well, you know, you don't need the iGPU, yada, yada, you have a dedicated graphics card. Well, because, because the uh, 12700KF is not on sale and the 12700K has $100 off, it's actually cheaper to get it with the iGPU. $64 cheaper. Now we do go with a higher wattage. We go with we, this one, we do go with the 850 watts. Now, why is this such a good deal? It's like, oh, it's $800 more. Well, I already told you the parts, they're insane. Really, really good components. Throw that 32 gig kit I showed you in here because this has the eight gig stick. That's all it has because the memory prices on your website are crazy cyber power. And then you're good to go. You're good for entry level video editing. You can do 64 gigs by ordering two of those kits or getting a 64 gig kit. It's also pretty well priced, not gonna lie for that G-Skill Rip Jaws 5. But let's compare this to a very similar looking computer. This one looks similar, but has all Corsair components. Fans, AIO, all that stuff. Same case, 4000D, Airflow Edition. Uh, other than that, well, it's the same. 12700K, 3080. This does have a two terabyte M.2. This is also DDR5. That's why this thing is so expensive. So you get a four week wait time for delivery on this because even Corsair who sells DDR5 memory, I know they're not a chip manufacturer, they sell DDR5 memory, they can't get a hold of it quickly enough. And this won't perform much better in gaming at all. 5% maybe. For a thousand dollars more. And this price 2581 is before the 5% off. You see what I'm saying? CyberPower's prices are awesome. So let's try comparing that with a system from iBuyPower. So right here, remember the CyberPower one is 1723 before a 5% discount. And the uh, iBuyPower one probably has a 5% 5, 5 discount as well, but it's 1949. I can tell you it's gonna end up being more, a couple hundred dollars more. And I spec'd it out as well as I could to be exactly the same. Case is a little bit more expensive, but it's also a little bit more better in my opinion. Uh, is there a system around the price range of this that's an iBuyPower same day ready system, you ask? Well, thank you for asking that long question. Uh, yeah, there is. And um, it's $16.99. You can get $50 off with code RDY, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. But it's a 12700KF, so a different processor, and an RTX 3060, so different GPU. So instead of being a balanced system, which I find that a 12600K, KF and a 3060 Ti, it's pretty well balanced. You're getting more cores, which you don't necessarily need for gaming, and less GPU, which you definitely need for gaming. The GPU that you choose is gonna be the most important factor in what kind of gaming performance you get. So this is odd, it's an odd choice. This is not what I would set up for a pure gaming system. I would do this as a getting into content creation system that can also game just fine but a 3060 is more aimed towards 1080p gaming. Now in this price range though, there's another compelling option I wanna go over really quick. And no, it's not 12th gen Intel. Wow, I know, right? Um, this is, <laughs> hold your gasps, please. Um, this is the NZXT Streaming Plus Build Kit. It is 1749, so right in the same wheelhouse price-wise. You can look at this and say, well, it's NZXT. Bray, you don't talk really highly of NZXT. Well, it's just because their cases are really bad, except for the NZXT uh, H510 Flow, which you cannot get with the build kit. But the cool thing about this is you get to build it yourself. It's a Ryzen 5 5600X, still a great gaming processor, and an RTX 3070, so a more powerful GPU. What did I say is the most important aspect of a gaming PC? The GPU. If you have a 5600X, you're fine for a while on your gaming PC. You're fine. So right here, 3070, 3200 megahertz RAM, 16 gigs, fine, fine. And uh, the cool thing about this is the case comes entirely in, in the, within the big box. The case is in its own box, brand new. 
So you don't have to use this case. It has like zero airflow. That's gonna choke off that 3070. It actually gets decent airflow to the GPU because it gets it from the PCIe slots, uh, but that's not great. So sell this case to someone. And instead you can look at other awesome cases like this uh, Cooler Master Masterbox TD500. This is like the one that Build Redux has, except it comes in white. Guess what? We got the 4000D. 4000D for $95 right there. And then if you really got to have that NZXT look, there you go. H510 Flow. Did a build on Zydax. It is a 12600K or KF. I don't remember which. Uh, with a 3060 Ti and it came out to a lot more. So it's 2065. Keep in mind though, Zydax does have a better warranty. This is basically a pure base 500 DX case um, we went with an MSI motherboard, 12600K. It, you know, I'm just gonna kind of gloss over this one. The overview is right here. If you wanna pause it and see the parts that I picked, pause it right now. Now let's give a chance to Build Redux. All right, Build Redux has lost their chance. That's five processors, three of which are two generations old Intel processors. Not that they're bad or anything. They need to get 12th gen. All right, now let's take a look at a more interesting place here. So they had some interesting choices because they're actually listing the B660 motherboard, H670. Um, so some of these are the more budget oriented new motherboards that have come out, which is why when I looked, it said uh, delayed shipping on absolutely all of them. That's a shame because we had a 12th gen system with a 12400F for 1515. Guys, keep an eye out. The 12100 is going to be a banger of a budget CPU if the other benchmarks of other 12th gen processors has anything to say about it. Made some other choices on here. 16 gigs went DDR4, um, 750 watt power supply, didn't really change that. And I went with the, the box fan, the new laminar fans that are coming with the Intel processors have not been reviewed by Gamers Nexus yet. And I don't have one, so I can't really tell you whether they're better than old Intel uh, stock G, uh, uh, CPU coolers. Uh, I can tell you the old ones were terrible. They are a meme now. So um, hopefully there were some major improvements made, but you can always swap out the cooler yourself. I promise you, a $30 Vetro V5 will beat this in cooling. Anyway, uh, 1979 right here for this system. This is the one that's supposed to match the other. Um, this one has the, uh, okay, same same motherboard, Gigabyte Z690 UD, 12600KF. I'm telling you, and also the only 3060 option here, because I'll tell you which kind they get, is an option that is more expensive to system integrators. The ASUS GeForce RTX 3060 Ti V2 Tough Gaming OC Edition. Calm down with the names already. But anyway, it is more expensive. This is a good system though. The, now the cooler, I did go with a, a 120 millimeter AIO. Everything else was kind of, I was trying to bring the price down on this. I could not do it. Now I've got the code here. It is M-E-H-D-I. God, this price is ridiculous, man. 1673 with a 12600 KF, a 3060 Ti, a one terabyte Western Digital Blue SN570, not SN550, so a little bit of an upgrade there. 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, a cut, now it's not this case, not the cube, that was just the original photo of that. In, in a Corsair 4000D high airflow case, like there is nothing nothing lacking in this system for a pure gaming system. It's awesome for 1673 and 90 cents. That coupon just does not go away. Uh, I don't know if I'm wrecking anything by recommending this to thousands of people, but um, CyberPower, if you're watching, if you, want to res if, if you want to fix that, just give me my own coupon code. Clearly I'm sending a lot of people to your website because you just have the better prices. So yeah, oh, Corsair. Corsair, let's see what this is gonna be. Oh, 24, 24.51 versus, and this is again with DDR4 instead of DDR5. Yes, this is just an illustration of how overpriced DDR5 memory is and how much, look, I love you guys, Corsair. I love you guys. I love what you make. You make some of the best looking stuff in the industry. Your RGB is off the charts. It's beautiful. Um, but man, man, oh man, $3,500, literally a thousand dollars more. And, um, 
the two things that make the biggest difference in gaming right here, 12700K, 3080, yeah. Now, if you were gonna do some video editing or something, DDR5 can make a solid difference there, a decent jump in performance. But then again, if you wanna go to more than 32 gigs, which can really help with video editing, good luck finding any. All right, guys, so uh, that's gonna be it. I have a really cool little thing coming up that I'm actually gonna have to pack everything. I'm actually taking my PC with me on a road trip. Oh boy, I am gonna be doing a vlog. I'm gonna try that, I've never done that. I'm trying to do some, doing some vlog content to sort of document the trip. It's for uh, Team Excluded, the gaming org that I joined and uh, they're super cool people and it's gonna be really interesting. So I will also be doing some content with Blaston down there. He is super awesome. Go check out Blaston's channel for some choice, choice footage of tech, great PC builds, awesome knowledge and just awesome uh, times in general. You gotta check him out. He's got some really cool stuff he's working on. So that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll be back next Sunday with more things and more things are coming out this month. And we're almost at 10K and I can't even stand it. Like, bro, five digits. Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh, I will see y'all on stream. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, every three times a week. Twitch.tv slash Braythorn around 8 p.m. Central. And until next time, take care.